If you're laying out a set of stair stringers with stair gauges on a framing square, you could hope that the stair gauges bear against the edge of a nice straight board, but they might not. In that case, there's a better way. John Carroll from Raleigh, North Carolina has devised a fence for his framing square and it lets him get a perfect job every time. Here's how it works. First, John gets rid of these lousy stair gauges. He's going to hang on to them and use them as fishing weights. They're good for that. And then he makes up a fence. And the key to this fence is it's got a slot, a saw curve at each end that runs to a center section that's about eight inches long. And that's what holds this whole thing together. Now this fence is designed so that it'll tuck over the blade of our framing square. And we register on the mark that we want. In this case, we're doing 10 and a half and seven and a half. And here, we're gonna use some little C-clamps and just clamp that together. So I've got my fence clamped on the framing square of my layout. In this case, it's a 10 and a half inch run and a seven and a half inch rise. And I'm ready to start laying out my, my uh, bird's mouths here. Now, the, the beauty of this is that this nice long fence bears against the high spots on my stringer stock. So the stair gauges, they'd be, you know, they'd be riding in and out of the little valleys and that's gonna throw the layout off. But this averages it out, it evens it out. So I can start putting on my layout marks here. And go down to the next one, is that good? <laughs> go to the next one, laying her out. And when I get to the end of this piece of wood, if it is not long enough for stair gauges to bear on it so that I can mark my layout, this compensates for that because the fence is long enough to ride on the other portion of the stringer. So the fence evens it out and it makes an easy job out of what could be a difficult task. John, terrific tip. Thanks for sending that, bud.